Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Raghavendra. Today we are going with a lamina problem. A circular lamina of 50 mm diameter is standing with one of its points on the ring mount HP. And the lamina is inclined at 45 degree to HP. The diameter at right angles to the diameter which is passing through the point on which the lamina rests is parallel to VP. Draw its projections. So it is a circular lamina of 50 mm diameter resting on HP with one of its point on the rim. Lamina makes 45 degree to HP, that is theta is equal to 45 degree. That is diameter, right angles to the diameter which is passing through the resting point is parallel to VP. We'll come back to this one afterwards. First draw horizontal line. Name it as XY. VP. HP. Now construct a circle of 50 mm diameter in HP because it is resting on HP. So manually while constructing, take a center anywhere below the XY line. The radius will be half of the diameter. Diameter is 50 mm means radius is 25 m construct a circle once you construct divide this circle into equal number of parts so 360 degree means so the diameter is 50 mm we will go with eight divisions so 360 by 8 is 45 degree from the center to till this point horizontal line vertical line next 45 degree and also this side now extend those lines in opposite directions also So totally it will be eight parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Name it A B C. D, E, F, G, H. I project the points in the four directions. B and H are on the same line. C and G are on the same line. D and F are on the same line and E. Join those endpoints with thick line. A dash, B dash in the bracket, H dash, C dash in the bracket g dash d dash in the bracket f dash and last point is e dash so the remarks This completes the first portion. For the second portion, lamina makes an angle of 45 degree with respect to HP. Means this line A dash A dash has to be inclined at an angle of 45 degree with respect to X Y.
this is the third hash third hash still we have to get three points so to get that one dimensions will be 7.32 that is a dash to b dash in the bracket is dash it is 7.32 similarly e dash to d dash in the bracket f dash that is also 7.32 whereas c dash in the bracket z dash it is the midpoint so a dash as center 7.32 mm as radius draw an arc similarly e dash as center 7.32 mm as radius draw another arc This is P dash in the bracket H dash. D dash in the bracket F dash is this point. Now project the points. Similarly, project in horizontal direction also. B, C, D, E, F, G, H. While drawing manually, join all these eight points with a free handed curve. This angle is forty five degrees. This compares the second position. For the third position, he has given diameter right angles to the diameter which is passing through the resting point. First, here the resting point is A. Passing through this resting point, the diameter is AE. For this diameter, right angle diameter is GC. So GC is the diameter that is the right angles to the diameter which is passing through the resting point that is a so gc should be parallel to vp so this gc has to be parallel to vp means 90 degree rotation and place so for that one first we will measure a and we will draw a vertical line
is thirty five point three six. Thirty five point three six. This is A. This one is E. The midpoint of that one will give us GC. The length for GC is that is from the midpoint. One side it is twenty five. So from the midpoint of this line, from midpoint of this line. Both the side of this line draw horizontal line of 25. This side also same thing. 25. So this will get C and G. Next, still we have to get another four points. So to get that one, we have to draw line joining BH and DF. These two are perpendicular to A. So the distance will be from A to this line. It is 5.18, same as this one also. This is also 5.18 only. So, A as center, 5.18 mm as radius, draw an arc. Similarly, E as center, 5.18 mm as radius, draw another arc. Now from these endpoints, draw the horizontal line. One side distance will be from the center, that is 17.68 mm. So from this endpoint, horizontal line of 17.68 mm. Similarly, opposite side also. Horizontal line of 17.68 mm. Same from this endpoint. Horizontal line of 17.68 mm. Opposite side also same thing, 17.68 mm. So we got B, D, F, and H. Once again, while drawing manually, join all these eight points with free handed curve. E, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, back to E. No projecting the points. First, we'll project horizontally. A and A dash both are on the X line. Nothing to worry. So E, E dash is here till this line project b and h are on this line so project till that point similarly f and d both are on the same lines these two are on the same lines from this point t and f next c and g till this line E dash, E dash. B 
थ्री डैश सी डैश डी डैश एफ डैश जी डैश एच डैश उनसे कि ज्वाइन ऑल द एट पॉइंट्स विद फ्री हैंडेड कर ए डैश बी डैश सी डैश डी डैश ई डैश एफ डैश जी डैश एच डैश बैक टू ए डैश This completes the problem. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel.